Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of C programming and we are studying user defined functions for string. So in this video, I am going to cover string cat function which will concatenate two strings. So we already studied the library function for the same and it is str cat. Okay, what this function does? Actually this function accepts two argument definitely both are of type string that is nothing but a character array and then after it will append the second string to the first one okay so here in this video we'll study the logic of it so let us consider two strings okay so consider that these two are my string that is s1 and s2 s1 is having contained blue and S2 is having contained sky. And what I want to do, I want to concatenate these two strings. Okay. So basically, we will write a logic for appending the content of S2 to S1. Okay. So S1 will be, or S1 will have a content blue sky. Okay. So definitely, I have to pass two argument and both are of type string, which is nothing but a character array. So let us write down a prototype first. So I'm not going to return anything. So my return type will be void. Our functions are following this convention that it's string and then after the actual functionality. So I'm appending cat here. And whenever you are passing character array, how will you specify char and pair of open clothes round so square bracket, right? Okay, so this is my prototype. So let us write down a function definition. So again, I'm not going to return anything. So return type will be void. My function name will be string cat. Let us name our argument as char s1. Again, you can skip the sides and s2. I already covered this concept while studying passing one dimensional array to the function. Okay, now so first of all what i have to do i have to append this sky at the end of the s1 string so first of all we have to find the end of this string we have to find end of this string so where this string ends where there is a null character and where is the null character in this case it is at fourth position so first of all i have to put my pointer or my index variable pointing at position 4 okay so let us write a logic for that so for that I need one local variable say int i if we need any variable we will declare it later okay so for I will start with 0 s1 of i not equal to null okay and i plus plus so here what i did i'll make i to point at zeroth position right okay and then i then i'm incrementing i till i get null at i position of s1 string okay so that's it i my loop do not have any body so what what can i do uh, let me rub this uh, curly braces when your loop do not contain any body you can put semicolon here so in this way my i will reach here then after here then after here and then here okay now here my condition will be false because what i am saying increment i if s of i is not equal to null but here s of i is equal to what null so my loop will terminate now what is the next step next step is to i have to transfer this contain i have to transfer the content of s 2s zeroth position to s1 fourth position then s 2s one position to s 1s fifth position okay so i have to do this process till i get or till my second string finish okay and when my second string finish whenever i will get null character at second string my second string will finish 
okay so here both the indices are different okay so for that i have to declare another variable so let me declare it so i will declare one variable say j now where j will point j will point here okay j will point here now i have to start with 0 till i get null at s2 j position okay so again for that i have to write a loop so for j is equal to 0 s2 of j that is till my second string terminate is not equal to null okay and then i want to increment j also comma i want to increment i also so you can write down this statement okay you can have multiple update part like this separated by comma again i cover this part while studying for loop okay now see now the next step is to transfer the content of s2 j to s1 of i so what is my next statement s1 of i is equal to s2 of j right no more statement will appear here now so i'll close this loop so again since there is a single statement you can exclude the curly braces also now let us override this part so what will i do i'll just rub this uh, null character from here okay so my s1 of i is equal to what s2 of j so this s will appear here okay now we are incrementing j as well as i so remember this thing that you will increment the i otherwise i will remain on the same place so don't forget to increment the i so here first of all this condition will be check is s2 of j not equal to null yes it is not equal to null so what it does it will again transfer the content of s2 of j to s1 of i so k get transferred here and again j will be incremented as well as i will be incremented okay now again s2 of j is not equal to null so this y will be transferred here and j will be incremented as well as i will be incremented so is s2 of j not equal to null no now condition evaluates to false so it will terminate the loop but here if you observe your first string it is no longer a string it is just a array of character why because there is no char null character at the end of the string but if you observe here your i is already at a next position so it is at seven position so what we can do we can explicitly add null character at ith position of your first string so don't forget this part okay otherwise this s1 will be no longer a string so here null character will be added and our function also completes okay so i hope you understand this okay and you enjoy this video thank you and in next video we are going to see one more interesting function thank you so much